Low oxygen is probably the most common cause of fish kills, particularly during the summer months as warm water contains less oxygen. The primary source of oxygen in most ponds is from photosynthesis, a process through which phytoplankton or microscopic plants produce oxygen in the presence of sunlight. Since sunlight is required, oxygen production occurs during daylight hours. After dark, oxygen concentrations tend to decline as it is consumed by aquatic organisms such as fish, insects, algae, etc. through respiration. When measured with a dissolved oxygen meter, the oxygen level in a pond is typically above 8 to 10 milligrams per liter during the day. If concentrations fall below 2 to 3 milligrams per liter, fish mortalities may occur. There are several ways oxygen level can dip down far enough to kill fish in ponds. Ponds with a very dense phytoplankton bloom, say less than 12 or even 10 inches, are highly susceptible to having low oxygen problems. Several days of cloudy weather where not much oxygen is being produced can cause the level to dip down in this situation. In the summertime, if you have a heavy wind and rain storm, this can cause the top layer and bottom layer of water to mix. We call this a turnover. That can result in low oxygen. The, the risk of these weather-related oxygen depletions increase if the pond is too fertile. The decay of aquatic plants following a herbicide treatment is another cause of low oxygen fish kills if the dying plants occupy a significant volume of the pond. Since decomposition of organic matter consumes oxygen, chemical treatment of large plant infestations should be done carefully, often broken into sections with a week or two between treatments. Always refer to the herbicide label or manufacturer for application information. Read the herbicide label carefully when treating aquatic weed infestations. The best time to apply herbicide is in early spring when water temperatures are lower and plants are less abundant. If left untreated, severe weed infestations may also reduce oxygen levels. Dense mats of floating plants can limit sunlight required for oxygen production in the water. Excessive feeding can also lead to oxygen depletion. Never feed more than 10 pounds of feed per acre per day. Fish parasites and diseases seldom cause extensive kills in bass brim ponds, but they are relatively common. Symptoms may include external sores or bloody lesions. This type of fish kill is typically longer in duration than oxygen-related kills. Poor water quality, spawning stress, and overcrowding can affect fish health, which can lead to disease outbreaks. If you desire to reduce the mortalities associated with disease, there may be chemical treatments available. If the fish are consuming a pellet feed, many diseases may be treated with medicated feed. If you are concerned about fish-related mortalities or would like information regarding treatment, consult the Auburn University Fish Parasite and Disease Lab or the Alabama Fish Farming Center in Greensboro. Care should be exercised when using pesticides on or near the watershed of ponds since certain chemicals are extremely toxic to fish. Pumps used to spray pesticides should never be cleaned in the pond and cattle sprayed with pesticide should not be allowed to access ponds. Remember to check the product label to determine the risk associated with using any pesticide around aquatic sites. During the spring, kills may also occur when fish, primarily brim, gorge themselves on swarming fire ants. This can be determined by examining the stomach contents of dead or dying fish. Fire ants may also be suspected if large numbers of ants are seen floating on the pond. 